Troy Landry has returned for Swamp People Season 14 after being absent in Season 13. However, his absence in the previous season has fueled rumors about his health, leaving many to question what might have occurred and whether he's fully recovered. Fans are eager to learn more about what happened to Troy Landry. In this video, we will delve into the details of Troy Landry's situation and health. When it comes to facing alligators, most people's instinct is to run the other way. But for a fearless man like Troy Landry, it's a completely different story. He's not out there hunting alligators for the thrill of it. He's doing it to make a living, and it's a profession that pays quite well. Troy has risen to stardom in recent years thanks to his appearances on the reality TV show Swamp People, which airs on the History Channel. Troy Landry was born on June 9, 1961, in Pierre Part, Louisiana, USA. While he may have become a household name since 2010, thanks to Swamp People, he's been a dedicated alligator hunter for over 25 years, steadily growing his business in the process. Troy's journey is a fascinating one, filled with unique experiences and a deep connection to the swampy wilderness of Louisiana. His life story is intertwined with his family, his passion for alligator hunting, and his career as a television personality. Troy's roots trace back to his parents, Duffy and Myrtle Landry, who raised him alongside his brother, Bubba Landry. Their family was deeply rooted in a diverse range of professions, including crocodile hunting, shrimping, trapping, lumberjack work, and even moss peddling. Alligator hunting had been a part of their family tradition for generations, making Troy the proud inheritor of this unique lineage. From a very young age, Troy Landry was introduced to the art of hunting, and it was only natural for him to carry on the family legacy. In the swamps of the Atchafalaya River Basin, the alligator hunting season is a mere 30 days long. However, this limited time frame has proven more than sufficient for Troy to not only sustain his livelihood, but also thrive in his profession. In addition to alligator hunting, Troy has ventured into the world of crawfish harvesting and distribution, further adding to his wealth. Sources estimate that he manages to harvest an astonishing 5,000, 6,000, 1,000 pounds of crawfish annually. What truly sets Troy Landry apart is his exceptional prowess as an alligator hunter. Over the years, he has earned the title of the King of the Swamp due to his unmatched experience and success in hunting these formidable reptiles. His extensive knowledge and skill set enable him to navigate both the east and west zones of the swamp, effectively doubling the duration of his alligator hunting season to 60 days. In the year 2010, Troy Landry and his family, alongside other alligator hunting families, were handpicked to be featured in the brand new History Channel series, Swamp People. This groundbreaking show would provide viewers with an up-close look at the riveting activities that unfolded during the alligator hunting season in the untamed swamps of Louisiana. The inaugural episode of Swamp People graced television screens on August 22, 2010, marking the beginning of an extraordinary journey for Troy and his family. Little did they know that this series would not only propel them into the spotlight, but also significantly augment their wealth. As the show gained momentum, Troy emerged as one of its most prominent stars, amassing a staggering 107 episodes under his belt, the highest number of appearances among the cast. His enduring presence in Swamp People not only solidified his status as a household name, but also contributed substantially to his financial success, further cementing his legacy as an iconic figure in the realm of alligator hunting. Troy Landry's personal life has been equally captivating. He has been a devoted husband to Bernita Landry since they exchanged vows on September 26, 1981. Together, they have built a strong and enduring partnership marked by love, support, and shared dreams. This union has brought them the joy of parenthood as they welcomed two sons into their family.
Notably, Troy embraced the role of a stepfather with open arms, taking Brandon under his wing. Brandon, the product of Bernita's previous relationship, became an integral part of their extended family. Bernita Landry's own journey has seen her make significant contributions in various fields. She is an alumna of Patterson High School, and her professional endeavors include working as a teller at Patterson State Bank from 1975 to 1980. Her dedication to education led her to become a schoolteacher, shaping the lives of young learners. Additionally, she played a vital role as a publicist for the History Channel. The Landry family resides in a charming wooden house, a testament to their dedication and hard work. What happened to Troy Landry? On November 19, 2021, Jacob Landry took to social media to share some concerning news about his father, Troy Landry. He announced that Troy was scheduled to undergo back surgery on November 21, 2021. Jacob explained the situation, stating, Dad has been out of commission a little bit. His back has been giving him a lot of trouble. So he finally got an MRI done on his back, and he's got a cyst growing around a nerve, and that's really what's been giving him the trouble. He's got a bulging disc that he's been dealing with for years now. Reports indicated that Troy had been living with a disc bulge in his spine for some time, and the discomfort had progressively worsened. As a result, his doctor recommended surgery as the only viable solution to address the problem. But what exactly is disc bulging and why does it require surgical intervention? Disc bulging occurs when the spinal discs located between the vertebrae of the spine protrude or bulge out due to compression. This condition can lead to significant pain and discomfort, as well as other serious symptoms. In more severe cases, a herniated disc can develop, which is an extremely painful disorder that can cause nerve irritation, numbness, and even paralysis if the bulging disc compresses the nerves and causes permanent damage. While disc bulging is often associated with older individuals, it can occasionally affect younger individuals as well, sometimes appearing in people as young as 30. Troy Landry's decision to undergo surgery was a crucial step in addressing his back issues and finding relief from the persistent pain and discomfort. Fortunately, he later shared positive news, stating that the back surgery he underwent in 2021 was successful. He expressed his gratitude for the well wishes and showed enthusiasm for the upcoming gator hunting season. On November 24, 2021, Troy Landry took to his Facebook page to express his gratitude and provide an update on his health following his back surgery. He shared with his followers, I want to thank everyone for the prayers for a successful back surgery. Had a cyst growing around a nerve, everything went well, and I'm back home taking it easy for a couple of weeks. I should be ready to go for next gator season. However, Troy Landry's health journey didn't end with his successful back surgery. Some may recall the touching moment when he sent a special message to a young teenager named Jessica, who was battling cancer at a children's hospital in Dallas. In an empathetic gesture, he wished her well, saying, Hey, Jessica, how you doing, Bear? I hope you're feeling good. Good luck. I hope everything works out well for you. And in the meantime, we're going to keep shooting them over here. We're going to shoot them, shoot them. Unfortunately, it has been rumored that Troy Landry is facing yet another health challenge in 2022, prostate cancer. While there have been reports of him receiving treatment for this condition, the show Swamp People has not provided any official updates regarding his health or any potential leave of absence. It was through a heartfelt message that Troy Landry first revealed his prostate cancer diagnosis to his admirers. He shared, Surgery went good. No more prostate. It was ate up with cancer. Dr. Alexander and his crew are doing an awesome job hoping to go home tomorrow. Special thanks to Miss Dottie and all our fans for all the prayers and kind words. I have to recover before gator season gets here. Y'all take care and hug them babies for me. It's a big one. Within the next two months, it became apparent that Troy was making remarkable progress on his road to recovery. 
His son, Jacob, shared a heartwarming video on Facebook, expressing how much better his father was feeling and hinting that he was eagerly anticipating the upcoming season. This positive update from Jacob Landry brought a sense of relief to Troy's fans and admirers. In a more recent development, Jacob Landry provided an update on his father's recovery, indicating that the lab report was favorable. According to Jacob, the medical team believes they successfully removed all traces of cancer, marking a significant milestone in Troy's journey to better health. With the green light from his medical team and a strong determination to bounce back, Troy Landry expressed his readiness to participate in another year of gator hunting for swamp people on History TV. In a lighthearted and reassuring manner, Troy responded to the rumors surrounding his health and even shared a post on Facebook playfully asking his son to return his boat. This gesture not only put to rest any unfounded rumors, but also showcased Troy's characteristic sense of humor and resilience. Troy Landry's post-surgery update, shared by his son Jacob, brought immense relief and joy to his dedicated fan base. The outpouring of support and well wishes from viewers of Swamp People and fans of the alligator hunting legend was heartfelt and overwhelming. One fan took to Facebook to express their gratitude and best wishes, stating, Thank God you are doing better. This world would be heartbroken if something happened to you. Keep getting stronger. This sentiment echoes the sentiments of countless others who hold Troy Landry in high regard and cherish his presence on the show. Another individual shared their own personal experience, revealing that they had undergone the same surgery for prostate cancer and had been cancer-free for an impressive 17 years. Their message was filled with optimism and encouragement, emphasizing their belief that Troy would overcome this challenge and emerge even stronger. Additionally, they extended their best wishes to Jacob for the new boat, highlighting the close-knit community of Swamp People fans who share their support not only for Troy, but for his entire family. The camaraderie and heartfelt messages from fans serve as a testament to the profound impact Troy Landry has had on viewers over the years. His resilience in the face of adversity has inspired many, and the news of his recovery has brought joy to those who admire him. Brandon Landry Death In the midst of the Landry family's adventures and the spotlight that comes with their television stardom, a rumor once circulated regarding the tragic demise of Brandon Landry. However, it's essential to set the record straight. This rumor was nothing more than a big misunderstanding. The confusion arose from the existence of an obituary bearing the same name as Landry's beloved family member, Brandon Landry. It's worth noting that this other individual, also hailing from Louisiana, sadly passed away. However, Brandon Landry in question is not the son of Bernita and Troy Landry. Fortunately, the Landry family can breathe a sigh of relief knowing that their Brandon remains safe and sound, continuing to be an integral part of their lives. Troy Landry Internet Popularity in the age of digital media, Troy Landry has harnessed the power of the internet to connect with his fans and share his latest career ventures. His online presence spans across various social media platforms with a significant following on Twitter and Instagram. On his official Twitter account, Troy boasts a dedicated following of nearly 70,000 fans, all eager to stay updated on his adventures and endeavors. Meanwhile, on Instagram, his captivating content has amassed a substantial following of over 48,000 avid followers. Troy Landry, Net Worth If you've ever wondered about Troy Landry's financial success, you're not alone. With a career that has spanned decades and brought him into the spotlight, many have speculated about his net worth. According to reliable sources, Troy Landry's estimated net worth is an impressive $2 million. This substantial wealth is a testament to his years of hard work, dedication, and expertise in the world of alligator hunting. Moreover, Troy's involvement in the reality TV series Swamp People has significantly contributed to his financial prosperity. His appearances on the show come with a substantial paycheck, 
earning him approximately $25,000 per episode. It's worth noting that Troy's sons, Jacob and Chase, have also joined him in the world of gator hunting and have been featured in the show. Their involvement adds another layer of intrigue to the Landry family's adventures and showcases their collective expertise in this unique profession. Troy Landry is coming back to Swamp People Season 15. Jacob Landry, one of the beloved stars of the hit reality TV series Swamp People, recently shared some exciting updates about the show's future. It seems that fans of the series have a lot to look forward to in the upcoming season. In a heartwarming announcement, Jacob Landry confirmed that Swamp People has been given the green light for season 15. This news was met with enthusiasm and anticipation from fans who have been eagerly awaiting the next installment of the show. Jacob expressed his hope that his father, Troy Landry, would have fully recovered in time to participate in the upcoming season as the Landry family is eager to continue their alligator hunting adventures for yet another year. The renewal of the show came as a pleasant surprise to both the cast and their dedicated audience. Jacob Landry has been busy preparing for the upcoming season. He revealed that he is in the process of building a new boat for his father, Troy, ensuring that they can go swamping in style and with the best equipment. As the new season begins, Jacob Landry and the rest of the Swamp People fishing crew are eagerly preparing to get back to their beloved swamping activities. Jacob's social media posts have been filled with enthusiasm as he marked the days until they get to go hunting again, even tagging some of his fellow Swamp People cast members in his updates. His son, Jacob Landry. Jacob Landry, born on December 27, 1983, in Pierre Part, Louisiana, is a significant figure in the world of alligator hunting. He is the son of the renowned Troy and Bernita Landry, and his journey has been nothing short of fascinating. Jacob Landry has made a notable mark in the popular TV series Swamp People, where he has appeared in more than 50 episodes. His extensive involvement in the show has garnered him a considerable fan following, as viewers have come to appreciate his skills, charisma, and dedication to the family tradition of alligator hunting. What's even more captivating is Jacob's recent ascent to the role of captain on the second ship of the Landry family. This transition within the family's alligator hunting business signifies the passing of the torch to the younger generation, who are ready to carry on the legacy established by their parents. Beyond the world of alligator hunting, Jacob Landry has demonstrated a diverse range of interests. He has ventured into the world of filmmaking and served as an assistant director on the horror drama film titled Paranormal Extremes Text Messages from the Dead. In terms of finances, Jacob Landry has amassed a substantial net worth, estimated at approximately $650,000. This impressive wealth reflects his contributions to the family business and his successful career in the entertainment industry. Jacob is not just a dedicated alligator hunter and filmmaker. He is also a family man. He is happily married to Lindsay, and the couple has been blessed with two children his son, Chase Landry. Chase Landry, born on April 25, 1989, in Pierre Part, Louisiana, is a familiar face in the thrilling world of alligator hunting. He is the younger of the two Landry brothers and has embraced the family tradition with unwavering dedication. Chase's involvement in the family's alligator hunting business and the TV series Swamp People has marked him as a significant contributor to the family legacy. Over the years, he has appeared in more than 50 episodes of the show, showcasing his skills and expertise in the art of alligator hunting. Unlike his brother Jacob, Chase has chosen to focus solely on his career as an alligator hunter, demonstrating his commitment to the family business. While Chase Landry is known for his prowess in the swamp, he also values his personal life. He is a married man and is blessed with one child. However, he has chosen to keep the identity of his wife away from the prying eyes of the media.
In terms of finances, Chase has accumulated a net worth currently estimated at around $220,000. This financial success is a testament to his hard work and dedication to the demanding world of alligator hunting. Who died in Swamp People? While we're thankful Troy Landry is still with us, Swamp People has lost some cast members over the years. These losses really hit the show's community and fans. These losses have not only impacted the show's community, but have also left fans mourning the departure of familiar faces. Mitchell Geist One of the most somber moments in the history of Swamp People was the passing of Mitchell Geist. Mitchell, who appeared in the second and third seasons of the show, left an indelible mark on fans with his charisma and unique personality. Tragically, he passed away at the age of 48 from natural causes while working on his boat on the Bell River. The news of Mitchell's death on May 14, 2012, sent shockwaves through the Swamp People family and deeply saddened viewers who had grown fond of him during his time on the series. His absence left a void that was difficult to fill. Randy Edwards Another heartbreaking loss for the Swamp People community was the untimely passing of Randy Edwards. Randy, at just 35 years old, had become a familiar face to fans through his appearances in season one and seasons three to six of the show. He was the son of Junior and Teresa Edwards, and his vibrant presence added depth to the cast. Tragically, Randy's life was cut short in a car accident in September 2018. His passing left both the Swamp People community and his fans in mourning as they remembered the young hunter who had shared his adventures on screen. Tyler, the Swamp Dog While not a human cast member, Tyler, also known as the Swamp Dog, played a special and heartwarming role on Swamp People. This hound was the beloved companion of Bruce Mitchell one of the show's iconic figures. Tyler's loyalty and bond with Bruce endeared him to viewers, making him a beloved character in his own right. Tragically, Tyler passed away in 2014 from congestive heart failure at the age of 13. His departure was felt deeply by fans who had grown attached to the charismatic canine and the special relationship he shared with Bruce. These losses serve as a poignant reminder of the human and animal connections that are an integral part of Swamp People. While the show continues to thrill audiences with its alligator hunting adventures, it also honors the memory of those who have been a part of its legacy, leaving an indelible mark on both the Swamp People family and its dedicated fan base. Now, we'd like to hear from you, our dedicated audience. What aspects of Troy Landry's life and career intrigue you the most, and what would you like to know more about him? Share your thoughts and memories in the comments below. And if you'd like to stay updated on the latest news about Troy Landry and other Swamp People cast members, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more content. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.